Art. MTC. Unit 17 No Analysis. Comma. Ransom Olds, the father of the Oldsmobile, could not produce his horseless carriages fast enough. Oldsmobile, Ransom Olds. In 1901 he had an idea to speed up the manufacturing process, instead of building one car at a time, he created the assembly line. 1901. The acceleration in production was unheard of from an output of 425 automobiles in 1901 to an impressive 2,500 cars the following year. 1901425250500. While other competitors were in awe of this incredible volume, Henry Ford dared to ask, can we do even better? Henry Ford. He was, in fact, able to improve upon Olds's clever idea by introducing conveyor belts to the assembly line. Olds. As a result, Ford's production went through the roof. Ford. Instead of taking a day and a half to manufacture a Model T, as in the past, he was now able to spit them out at a rate of one car every 90 minutes. Model T 1.590. The moral of the story is that good progress is often the herald of great progress. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 No. 01. Comma. The United Nations asks that all companies remove their satellites from orbit within 25 years after the end of their mission. 25. This is tricky to enforce though, because satellites can, and often do, fail. To tackle this problem, several companies around the world have come up with novel solutions. These include removing dead satellites from orbit and dragging them back into the atmosphere, where they will burn up. Ways we could do this include using a harpoon to grab a satellite, catching it in a huge net, using magnets to grab it, or even firing lasers to heat up the satellite increasing its atmospheric drag so that it falls out of orbit. However, these methods are only useful for large satellites orbiting Earth. There isn't really a way for us to pick up smaller pieces of debris such as bits of paint and metal. We just have to wait for them to naturally re-enter Earth's atmosphere. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 No. 02. Comma. Risk often arises from uncertainty about how to approach a problem or situation. One way to avoid such risk is to contract with a party who is experienced and knows how to do it. For example, to minimize the financial risk associated with the capital cost of tooling and equipment for production of a large, complex system, a manufacturer might subcontract the production of the system's major components to suppliers familiar with those components. This relieves the manufacturer of the financial risk associated with the tooling and equipment to produce these components. However, transfer of one kind of risk often means inheriting another kind. For example, subcontracting work for the components puts the manufacturer in the position of relying on outsiders, which increases the risks associated with quality control, scheduling, and the performance of the end-item system. But these risks often can be reduced through careful management of the suppliers. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 No. 03. Comma. Most beliefs but not all are open to tests of verification. This means that beliefs can be tested to see if they are correct or false. Beliefs can be verified or falsified with objective criteria external to the person. There are people who believe the Earth is flat and not a sphere. Because we have objective evidence that the Earth is in fact a sphere, the flat Earth belief can be shown to be false. Also, the belief that it will rain tomorrow can be tested for truth by waiting until tomorrow and seeing whether it rains or not. However, some types of beliefs cannot be tested for truth because we cannot get external evidence in our lifetimes such as a belief that the Earth will stop spinning on its axis by the year 9999 or that there is life on a planet 100 million light years away. 99991 Also, metaphysical beliefs, such as the existence and nature of a god, present considerable challenges in generating evidence that everyone is willing to use as a truth criterion. 
MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 no 04. Comma. Liquids are destructive. Foams feel soft because they are easily compressed, if you jump onto a foam mattress, you'll feel it give beneath you. Liquids don't do this, instead they flow. You see this in a river, or when you turn on a tap, or if you use a spoon to stir your coffee. When you jump off a diving board and hit a body of water, the water has to flow away from you. But the flowing takes time, and if your speed of impact is too great, the water won't be able to flow away fast enough, and so it pushes back at you. It's that force that stings your skin as you belly flop into a pool, and makes falling into water from a great height like landing on concrete. The incompressibility of water is also why waves can have such deadly power, and in the case of tsunamis, why they can destroy buildings and cities, tossing cars around easily. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 no 05. Comma. Some resources, decisions, or activities are important, highly valuable on average, while others are pivotal, small changes make a big difference. Consider how two components of a car relate to a consumer's purchase decision, tires and interior design. Which adds more value on average? The tires. They are essential to the car's ability to move, and they impact both safety and performance. Yet tires generally do not influence purchase decisions because safety standards guarantee that all tires will be very safe and reliable. Differences in interior features optimal sound system, portable technology docks, number and location of cup holders likely have far more effect on the consumer's buying decision. In terms of the overall value of an automobile, you can't drive without tires, but you can drive without cup holders and a portable technology dock. Interior features, however, clearly have a greater impact on the purchase decision. In our language, the tires are important, but the interior design is pivotal. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 no 06. Comma. It is important to remember that computers can only carry out instructions that humans give them. Computers can process data accurately at far greater speeds than people can, yet they are limited in many respects most importantly, they lack common sense. However, combining the strengths of these machines with human strengths creates synergy. Synergy occurs when combined resources produce output that exceeds the sum of the outputs of the same resources employed separately. A computer works quickly and accurately, humans work relatively slowly and make mistakes. A computer cannot make independent decisions, however, or formulate steps for solving problems, unless programmed to do so by humans. Even with sophisticated artificial intelligence, which enables the computer to learn and then implement what it learns, the initial programming must be done by humans. Thus, a human-computer combination allows the results of human thought to be translated into efficient processing of large amounts of data. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC Unit 17 no 07 Comma For hundreds of thousands of years our hunter-gatherer ancestors could survive only by constantly communicating with one another through nonverbal cues. Developed over so much time, before the invention of language, that is how the human face became so expressive, and gestures so elaborate. We have a continual desire to communicate our feelings and yet at the same time the need to conceal them for proper social functioning. With these counterforces battling inside us, we cannot completely control what we communicate. Our real feelings continually leak out in the form of gestures, tones of voice, facial expressions, and posture. We are not trained, however, to pay attention to people's nonverbal cues. By sheer habit, we fixate on the words people say, while also thinking about what we'll say next. What this means is that we are using only a small percentage of the potential social skills we all possess. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 no 08. Comma. 
the boundary between uniquely human creativity and machine capabilities continues to change. Returning to the game of chess, back in 1956, 13 year old child prodigy Bobby Fischer made a pair of remarkably creative moves against Grandmaster Donald Byrne. 1956, 1 3 Bobby Fisker Donald Byrne. First, he sacrificed his knight, seemingly for no gain, and then exposed his queen to capture. On the surface, these moves seemed insane, but several moves later, Fisher used these moves to win the game. Fisker. His creativity was praised at the time as the mark of genius. Yet today if you program that same position into an ordinary chess program, it will immediately suggest the exact moves that Fisher made. Fisker. It's not because the computer has memorized the Fisher burn game, but rather because it searches far enough ahead to see that these moves really do pay off. Fisker burn. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 no 09. Comma. Of all the medical achievements of the 1960s, the most widely known was the first heart transplant, performed by the South African surgeon Christian Barnard in 1967. 19601967 Christian Barnard. The patient's death 18 days later did not weaken the spirits of those who welcomed a new era of medicine. 18. The ability to perform heart transplants was linked to the development of respirators, which had been introduced to hospitals in the 1950s. 1950. Respirators could save many lives, but not all those whose hearts kept beating ever recovered any other significant functions. In some cases, their brains had ceased to function altogether. The realization that such patients could be a source of organs for transplantation led to the setting up of the Harvard Brain Death Committee, and to its recommendation that the absence of all discernible central nervous system activity should be a new criterion for death. The recommendation has since been adopted, with some modifications, almost everywhere. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 Number 10. Comma. Car sharing is now a familiar concept, but creative companies are making it possible for their clients to share ownership and access to just about everything, such as villas, handbags, and even diamond necklaces. According to a Portuguese saying, you should never have a yacht, you should have a friend with a yacht. Dot. By joining a yacht sharing service, members can live the Portuguese dream by sharing a yacht with up to seven other people. 7. In describing the service, a recent newspaper article warned consumers that sharing the yacht means there is no guarantee you will always be able to use it when you want. This apparent limitation is precisely what helps consumers make it a treat. Limiting your access to everything from sandwiches to luxury cars helps to reset your kirometer. That is, knowing you can't have access to something all the time may help you appreciate it more when you do. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 Number 11. Comma. Open international online access is understood using the metaphor flat earth. It represents a world where information moves across the globe as easily as a hockey puck seems to slide across an ice rink's flat surface. This framework, however, can be misleading especially if we extend the metaphor. As anyone who has crossed an ice rink can confirm, just because the surface of the rink appears flat and open does not necessarily mean that surface is smooth or even. Rather, such surfaces tend to be covered by a wide array of DIPs and cracks and bumps that create a certain degree of pull or drag or friction on any object moving across it. In much the same way, an array of technological, political, economic, cultural, and linguistic factors can exist and create a similar kind of pull or drag or friction. They affect how smoothly or directly information can move from point to point in global cyberspace. Thus, while the Earth might appear to be increasingly flat from the perspective of international online communication, it is far from frictionless. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Unit 17 Number 12. Comma. In physics, 
the principle of relativity requires that all equations describing the laws of physics have the same form regardless of inertial frames of reference. The formulas should appear identical to any two observers and to the same observer in a different time and space. Attitudes and values, however, are subjective to begin with, and therefore they are easily altered to fit our ever-changing circumstances and goals. Thus, the same task can be viewed as boring one moment and engaging the next. Divorce, unemployment and cancer can seem devastating to one person but be perceived as an opportunity for growth by another person, depending on whether or not the person is married, employed, and healthy. It is not only beliefs, attitudes and values that are subjective. Our brains comfortably change our perceptions of the physical world to suit our needs. We will never see the same event and stimuli in exactly the same way at different times. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC Unit 17 Number 13 Comma You are in a train, standing at a station next to another train. Suddenly you seem to start moving. But then you realize that you aren't actually moving at all. It is the second train that is moving in the opposite direction. The illusion of relative movement works the other way, too. You think the other train has moved, only to discover that it is your own train that is moving. It can be hard to tell the difference between apparent movement and real movement. It's easy if your train starts with a jolt, of course, but not if your train moves very smoothly. When your train overtakes a slightly slower train, you can sometimes fool yourself into thinking your train is still and the other train is moving slowly backwards. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC Unit 17 Number 14 Comma You're probably already starting to see the tremendous value of network analysis for business people. In the business world, information is money. A tip about anything from a cheap supplier to a competitor's marketing campaign to an under-the-table merger discussion can inform strategic decisions that might yield millions of dollars in profits. You might catch it on TV or in the newspaper, but that's information everyone knows. The most profitable information likely comes through network connections that provide inside information. And it isn't just information that travels through network connections its influence as well. If you have a connection at another company, you can possibly ask your connection to push that company to do business with yours, to avoid a competitor, or to hold off on the launch of a product. So clearly, any business person wants to increase their personal network. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC Unit 17 Number 15 Comma it can be helpful to read your own essay aloud to hear how it sounds, and it can sometimes be even more beneficial to hear someone else read it. Either reading will help you to hear things that you otherwise might not notice when editing silently. If you feel uncomfortable having someone read to you, however, or if you simply don't have someone you can ask to do it, you can have your computer read your essay to you. Granted, it's not quite the same thing and the computer is not going to tell you when something doesn't sound right. The computer also won't stumble over things that are awkward it will just plow right on through. But hearing the computer read your writing is a very different experience from reading it yourself. If you have never tried it, you might find that you notice areas for revision, editing, and proofreading that you didn't notice before. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC Unit 17 Number 16 Comma Hubert Cecil Booth is often credited with inventing the first powered mobile vacuum cleaner. Herbert Cecil Booth In fact, he only claimed to be the first to coin the term vacuum cleaner for devices of this nature, which may explain why he is so credited. As we all know, the term vacuum is an inappropriate name, because there exists no vacuum in a vacuum cleaner. Rather, it is the air moving through a small hole into a closed container, as a result of air being blown out of the container by a fan on the inside. But I suppose a rapid air movement in a closed container to create suction cleaner would not sound as scientific or be as handy a name. Anyway, we are stuck with it historically, 
and it is hard to find any references to vacuum prior to Booth. Booth Interestingly, Booth himself did not use the term vacuum when he filed a provisional specification describing in general terms his intended invention. Booth MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 Number 17 Comma The problem of amino acid deficiency is not unique to the modern world by any means. Pre-industrial humanity probably dealt with protein and amino acid insufficiency on a regular basis. Sure, large hunted animals such as mammoths provided protein and amino acids aplenty. However, living off big game in the era before refrigeration meant humans had to endure alternating periods of feast and famine. Droughts, forest fires, superstorms, and ice ages led to long stretches of difficult conditions, and starvation was a constant threat. The human inability to synthesize such basic things as amino acids certainly worsened those crises and made surviving on whatever was available that much harder. During a famine, it's not the lack of calories that is the ultimate cause of death, it's the lack of proteins and the essential amino acids they provide. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 Number 18 Comma Framing matters in many domains. Framing When credit cards started to become popular forms of payment in the 1970s, some retail merchants wanted to charge different prices to their cash and credit card customers. 1970 To prevent this, credit card companies adopted rules that forbade their retailers from charging different prices to cash and credit customers. However, when a bill was introduced in Congress to outlaw such rules, the credit card lobby turned its attention to language. Its preference was that if a company charged different prices to cash and credit customers, the credit price should be considered the normal, default, price and the cash price a discount rather than the alternative of making the cash price the usual price and charging a surcharge to credit card customers. The credit card companies had a good intuitive understanding of what psychologists would come to call framing. The idea is that choices depend, in part, on the way in which problems are stated. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 Number 19 Comma Tap your finger on the surface of a wooden table or desk, and observe the loudness of the sound you hear. Then. Place your ear flat on top of the table or desk. With your finger about one foot away from your ear, tap the table top and observe the loudness of the sound you hear again. 1. The volume of the sound you hear with your ear on the desk is much louder than with it off the desk. Sound waves are capable of traveling through many solid materials as well as through air. Solids, like wood for example transfer the sound waves much better than air typically does because the molecules in a solid substance are much closer and more tightly packed together than they are in air. This allows the solids to carry the waves more easily and efficiently, resulting in a louder sound. The density of the air itself also plays a determining factor in the loudness of sound waves passing through it. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Unit 17 Number 20 Comma You may be wondering why people prefer to prioritize internal disposition over external situations when seeking causes to explain behavior. One answer is simplicity. Thinking of an internal cause for a person's behavior is easy, the strict teacher is a stubborn person, the devoted parents just love their kids. In contrast, situational explanations can be complex. Perhaps the teacher appears stubborn because she's seen the consequences of not trying hard in generations of students and wants to develop self-discipline in them. Perhaps the parents who are boasting of the achievements of their children are anxious about their failures, and conscious of the cost of their school fees. These situational factors require knowledge, insight, and time to think through. Whereas, jumping to a dispositional attribution is far easier.